We have more tonight on the mayor's budget proposal for Portland and particularly how the Parks Department will take a big hit. Yeah, the city has to cut more than six million dollars from Parks and Recreation and that includes a proposal to close some facilities including the Columbia Pool in North Portland. Tonight our Jennifer Dowling is live there digging deeper into what the budget cuts mean for those who live and play in the city. Good evening. It means a lot for people here. You can see that the signs have already started to pop up. Save Columbia Pool. The friends of Columbia Park tell me that thousands use this pool here every year, and if they lose it, it will be a huge loss to the community. Columbia Pool, along with other assets in Hillsdale and Laurelhurst, are on the chopping block to make up for a projected $6.3 million budget deficit in parks and recreation for the 2019 2020 budget year. Mayor Ted Wheeler says increasing personnel costs are the reason that cuts are needed. It has been proposed in the past that Parks and Rec could increase fees in order to keep places like Columbia Pool afloat. But the mayor's office says City Council has rejected that idea, so cuts need to be made. Those who would lose out on services here say the pool is a vital part of this neighborhood. People communicate here and make friendships, and people even meet outside of here. So it's very important for the neighborhood, I think, especially an underserved neighborhood like this. There's a lot of a lack of information for a lot of us to understand um, why it's closing. We Bridge funding is proposed in the mayor's budget to keep the pool going this summer. Rachel says some people are in favor of raising fees to keep resources like this open. The next budget town hall meeting will be on the 9th, and you can expect a lot of folks who support this pool to be there at 6:30 at the Forestry Center to make their voices heard. Back to you.